the Yummy's Country Cooking. I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today, I would like to really, really do some country cooking for you. So, we're going to cook some baked catfish. Oh, please don't say, oh, catfish. I promise you, it's going to be absolutely delicious if you try my recipe. So, today, we're going to start with we have filleted catfish it's already washed and i have it on the paper towel because i'm just draining it we're going to use green peppers the green the yellow the red and we're going to use what i call spring onions we're going to use regular onion we're going to use garlic, three cloves of garlic, onion salt, cayenne pepper, paprika, some black pepper, some Louisiana Cajun seasoning, mmm, onion powder, garlic powder, and some lemon pepper. These are all the ingredients we're going to use today. Also, we're going to use some olive oil. This is just the extra virgin olive oil. I happen to just kind of keep mine in a bottle like this. So I'm sorry I don't have a name brand or anything to show you. But just regular olive oil. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, let's do the spices first. I'm going to have a little bowl. We're going to put all the spices in the bowl. Normally with the spices, uh, I'm going to use the garlic powder. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, I'm not going to measure it, but this is just for you, okay? Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, we're going to use a half a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Kind of shake it kind of. Okay. We're going to use a fourth of a fourth teaspoon of lemon pepper. You know this, I'm not, I have measuring spoons, I just don't use them. Okay, we're going to use just a fourth of black pepper, regular black pepper. Okay, we're going to use a half a teaspoon of paprika. I'm going to go back and put a little bit more paprika on it. And we're going to use just a fourth of cayenne. Onion salt, I'm going to use a fourth. Okay, just going to shake this around a little bit. I think I'm going to put a little bit more paprika, okay? So let's just take the paprika up to a half a spoon of paprika. Okay, we got this ready. That's what it looks like. All my seasoning, okay? Now we're going to put that aside. And we're going to now chop up my onions. No particular way, however you want to chop them. Whatever size you want, just don't chop up your finger. And there they are trying to fly away. And these are my spring onions. I'm just gonna take them, I'm gonna put them in the bowl. Look delicious. Now, going with my regular onion. You don't have to cut it any particular way, whatever suits your fancy, whatever's good for you. Okay. I'm just going to cut it around the fourth here. Just drop them in the pan. Okay. Let's cut them in half. Let's drop them in. Now, same thing with your peppers. I'm just going to kind of slice them a little bit. Okay. 
and I'm just going to put a little bit in it. Okay, see? It's not really hard. It's very, it's a very simple, very simple recipe. And if you like onions and peppers, you'll enjoy this. You will enjoy it. I used to say, when I was growing up, I didn't really care much for fish. And then I tried this baked catfish. Actually, my mom is the one that fixed it for the first time, and it was good. And so what I've done is I've just kind of added, added a few things to it over the years. That pretty, that's pretty though. The peppers, all the pretty colors. Some people like catfish nuggets. Some people like fried catfish. Me, I like great catfish. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. If you notice, I say that word a lot. Yummy. Because. That's the name of my cooking channel, Yummy's Country Cooking. And my name is Kathy. I don't know if I've even told and said my name on uh, YouTube, but my name is Kathy. But you can call me Kathy or you can call me Yummy. You can just call me for dinner. This is one that this is going to be wonderful. And I do hope you enjoy trying it. I hope you enjoy making it. And I normally serve this, you can serve this over rice. Take your bed of rice and just take the catfish after it's done and lay it on the top, lay it on the side. Or, normally me, I love stewed potatoes. Stewed white potatoes. And um, I normally serve it with stewed white potatoes and fried cornbread. Oh my goodness. So wonderful, so wonderful. Now, I need my gloves on. The reason I need my gloves on is because I'm going to be dealing with fish. And you know, as small as my hands are, I shouldn't be having a problem with putting these gloves on. They should just slide right on, but they want to act crazy today. They want to act crazy on me today. Okay, let's see, we're getting there. Hope you're having a great day, everybody. I am. I'm here. I'm having a chance to uh, talk to you, to show you some recipes. And if it's got to do with cooking, I'm happy. I love cooking. I love cooking anything. I'm about to try it, too. If I don't know the recipe, I'll find it. And then I'll kind of, I'm having a time with these gloves. I'll tell you what, let's just not even worry about this one. And I'll just use one glove. Okay, you can call me the one hand bandit today. Okay, my next thing we're going to do is, and I'm, I may have to touch, I am going to have to touch it with both hands, so... I know my hands are clean, so please forgive me. So I'm going to take them and just sprinkle. Just take a little bit. Okay, all the seasoning. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Oops, I like to forgot my oil. I'm going to do maybe, maybe it adds up about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan. Okay, that's how I'm just going to rub it around in there a little bit. That's how I don't want it sticking to the pan. Okay, take this. I have to use my other hand, I see that. Okay, we're gonna put this seasoning on it. Make sure we get enough. Okay, all right. I'll have catfish tonight. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be delicious. And I know I probably told you, but hey, I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more season on it. 
and it should work out. I have five pieces of catfish. So, here we go. All right, there we go. Okay. Set this off here. Flip it over. And this is all of it. Very perfectly. Okay. All right, we've got it placed. That looks delicious. Give me one second. Let me just take these gloves off and wash my hands. Be right back with you. Okay, now we're going to get ready and put our onions on the top. Put it in the oven. Okay, we've got all our peppers and our onions. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to take just a little bit of that Louisiana Cajun season and sprinkle over just to kind of make sure we got spot of spice. All right, there we go. Okay, now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this just going to spread it over any kind of way, no particular way. I love peppers. I love onions. Oh, my goodness gracious. Looks like I'm having a pepper and onion party, doesn't it? So, okay, this is it. We got all that done. Okay. Now we're going to put it in the oven. Now, one thing that I don't have that I normally use... I normally just take a little bit of vegetable broth and just put a little vegetable broth in here, okay? Just put a little vegetable broth. But do that I don't have any vegetable broth, I think I'm just going to put, uh, I'm just going to use just a little bit of broth. It's not vegetable, unfortunately, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Just to kind of give it a base, I'm just going to put just a little bit, not over it, do not pour over it, because if you do, you're pouring off this, the season off of the fish. So just in the corner, just a little dab, not a lot, in the corners, in each corner, and you'll see why I did that once later, once I take it out of the oven. But I promise you, it's delicious. So right now, I need to put my oven on, I think it's, it's already set up, but I'm going to put it on 424, I'm sorry, 450. My oven is on 450. Okay, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in the oven and I'm going to cover it with some foil. I need to cover it with foil. Let's see. Got it all covered. Now it's time to go in the oven. And it doesn't take that long to cook. Basically, I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer because of the green peppers and the onions. Um, now, what I do sometimes is sometimes I will take my peppers and my onions and I will have them all, I will cook them. They'll already be cooked. And this is what they'll look like cooked, okay? I'll just take a little olive oil and just put it on, on in a frying pan and just kind of let it cook down. And I'm in a hurry. And then I'll just take it and spread it on the top and put it in the oven. And when I do that, I'll take it off the oven and within 15 minutes, it's ready. Today, I'm not going to do that today. Today, um, I just took the raw vegetables and I'm just going to put it in the oven and let it bake. And I'm going to let it bake for a good 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, okay? You'll know when it's ready. Uh, so, I will be back. See you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I think that baked catfish is ready. Let's just put my gloves on and let's see. Gosh, it looks delicious. It looks delicious. 
delicious. Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. It looks delicious. Let's cut this stove off here. Wow, that looks good. Now what I did do that I did not tell you is I put my crushed uh, garlic, I crushed them up and put it on the top. Um, and then I did put the oven on broil for five minutes. After 25 minutes, I put it on broil for five minutes. Okay, now, I think we're ready to do this. Let's just see how it's going to taste. Let me get a It looks good. We're going to see, guys. Okay, there's one piece. Got to have some peppers. Look at that. That looks good. It looks delicious. Let's put some peppers on it. Mmm. Delicious. 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 And I'll tell you what, give me, let me just, let's taste it. Now, mm, let's see. Oh my goodness, what? You know, like I said, I'm a southern kind of gal. I've got to have my Texas Pete. Mmm. Oh, delicious. Even though I use cayenne pepper, I still like my Texas Pete. It's so hot, I'm scared to even put it in my mouth right now. But, I tell you what, give me one second. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Some stewed potatoes and I have some fried cornbread. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Now, let's try this. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. Okay, mmm. I know it's hot. Hope I don't burn my mouth. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. With the little potatoes. Oh my goodness gracious. Mmm. Mmm. Now that's yummy to my tummy. Really, really yummy. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. I oh. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I know, I know. Just gonna have a little piece, just another, just a tiny bite, just a little bite. Mmm, mmm. This is no joke, you guys. This is good. Now, if you don't like catfish, you don't have to fix it with catfish. You can use other fish and do the same recipe. Just don't use catfish. Use another recipe. But it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. I can't stop eating that. I'm so sorry. But mmm. 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 Oh, the garlic on the top of it. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Everything is good. Mm. This is so yummy. Mm. I can't wait to finish it. So that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. What are you having? Hopefully it's something good too. But I do want you to try my recipe. And remember, all you need is filet catfish, an onion, green peppers. You don't have to use all the different green peppers, the different colors that I use, but I used to sweet baby miniature green peppers. Oh gosh, they were so good. 
I use uh, spring onions, red pepper, I use some olive oil to baste it, the pan. I use some garlic powder, onion powder, seasoning, um, Louisiana Cajun style. I use some pepper, I use some paprika, and I use some cayenne. And I put it all in a bowl, as you notice, and I rubbed it, and I just baste my fish with it. I'm telling you, it's delicious. But, thank you so much, so much for coming in today to see me. And I do hope you try my recipe. And as always, I will leave you with something. Life has no limitations except the ones you make. So thank you again for visiting me today in my kitchen, Yummy's Country Cooking. Goodbye.